there's a list out. There's a list of top 10 reasons why the black, the B dub is not married. Number one on the list is nasty attitudes and disposition. Baby, how many times do we have to say it? There are a lot of combative women out here who don't know how to talk to individuals, who don't know, don't know how to treat people. They have a nasty attitude. Their disposition is standoffish. Number one is definitely something we see all the time. We do see a lot of women with these attitudes and entitlements. They look at you like you smell funny. They turn their nose up at you because they think they're better than average men. They think they're better than the most average black man they look down on you they really have this sense of entitlement lord and especially if they have a degree or multiple degrees or they make a little bit more money they don't want you nowhere near them so that's definitely a fact there are a lot of women who think that they're better than men and they act accordingly so definitely the nasty attitude and disposition is definitely something that exists and it's part of the reason why a lot of these women will never get married or have stable relationships because nobody wants to deal with that. Number two says uncooperative and can't follow leadership. How many times have we talked about this? How many times we talk about women who say, I want a man who can lead. And then at the same time, you hear women say they left relationships because he was too controlling. He tried to tell her where to go. He tried to tell her what to wear. He tried to, you know, he tried to lead you in a right. Man. Yeah. Like I said, shout out to my girl, Dee Dee fair use and like she hit knowing mr walker y'all see this list correct her where she wrong and she didn't make this list it's going it's just going around there you go glory be you know we ain't up here having these conversations asking these questions making these points just for nothing there's a problem to be fixed and shout out to the sisters like dd that called it out it got a little bit more weight when the sisters themselves call it out that's why i appreciate you rockwell coming up here standing on your square because, look, ladies, observe your fellow sister. What you got, uh, Tyranny? I feel like you fit a lot of them. <laughs> huh? What do you What's want me to say? That I, I agree with you guys on how y'all feel about black women? Do you know? No. I want, Do you think any of that is true? Um, yeah, definitely the uh, nasty attitudes of black women, all shades of black women, all shades of black women. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I really, I don't like how all, most of the pictures, though, have this darker tone black woman that's what i really don't like every time i see like you know attitude you get there's always something dark and connected to the connotation of it but you know i'm i'm dark i'm dark and you know what about the stereotype stands true that's fine the stereotypes it is what it is what's the stereotype <laughs> about you huh yeah aggressive dark skinned ninjas that's me we fit the stereotype it's okay yeah. self-awareness is so beautiful no, truthfully, black women, I just seen this horrific video of Ice Spice featuring, what's this this guy named? I forgot. Travis Scott. Oh, my God. The word. Oh, my God. She was shaking her booty. And she, Ice Spice is super light, super, super light. Yeah. And it was just a disgusting image. And, you know, they take that image of Ice Spice and other, you know, Cardi B's, these lighter black women. Gross. And they degrade all of us looking like, you know ridiculousness but yeah i'm just saying you know no, 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 no. hold on Let me ask you this. <laughs> are y'all not your own beings and have your own minds and your own standards or are y'all like robots or parrots and what do you mean i mean i i am a black woman i understand black women so when you guys be like yeah tyranny down your black woman i don't listen well how can well you sitting here saying you name it one two three isolated women and how can they have so much control over That's our whole race? That's what HQ and I be saying, bro. Like, it's such a small minute of women that you guys, and unfortunately, you take it as the whole bra span and be like, oh, my gosh. No, we're, she has no, we're just saying it's the, the majority. We're not saying all. The majority of black women got nasty attitudes. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, oh, you just said it. I just want oh, clarification. Oh, the majority oh, of black women got nasty attitudes. Do, Is that correct? Do, do you think majority of black women's got good attitudes? Yes, I do. I outside of work me. outside of work when you're talking to your boss i feel like if you put a black woman in a situation where she has to jump she's gonna jump that is that's how i try what? to be yes, oh, hell you I mean, don't put me in a jumping situation you're not supposed to be jumping 
talking about jump. Not like, every time we jump, like it's the right girl. time to jump. But don't do stuff to get jumped. I'm just saying, like, I'm not black women are cool, bro. A lot of people want to be like this. I don't care what the hell y'all saying. Y'all black men are welcome. You're lucky. A lot of a lot of women in these other races be like, damn, I wish I had the strength of a black woman. I wish my skin was as pretty as hers. Like, come on. I wish my hair stood up. Like, they want to, yeah. So, okay, no. no, we talk about the physical stuff. Yes. We yes. Have Spoke up here and spoke of the wonders of melanated women on this show. Yes. At the same time, y'all effed up. Y'all need to change y'all ways. Why y'all think y'all, why y'all think y'all don't have any room for correction? And here's my thing. If y'all are so influential, we know melanated sisters are extremely influential. Y'all influence dang near every race. Yes, we do. Y'all accept, accept that influence. Y'all accept that. But when we say, hey, y'all influence is going a little bit left. No, y'all wrong. Don't you talk about us. And that whole colorism thing, Tony, that's wicked. We don't the believe in we, we do not promote any colorism or any types of division. In any I don't way care what you talked about, but I know the colorist when I hear one. So come on now. I'm 35 years old. You cannot convince me. Yeah, let that go. Is, 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 is. I was just having this talk with my barber. Shout out to my barber, Brother Brooks. He's colorism. Like, I get it. We grew up, Tyranny, we grew up in a time where it wasn't cool to be a darkie, right? You got called names, called blurple. I get it. So now black dark folks is like, hey, you know what? Black is in now. Shout out to Wesley Snipes. So y'all like, you know what? Now it's our turn. You gotta stop that. What? What? You, you, what? you wanna know? You wanna know what happened? But when is it cool to be a light-skinned black man? Is is that ever cool? Like yeah, so y'all y'all fit y'all standard of the perfect man. Skin. Do you say he gotta be six feet tall and light skinned? Do y'all everybody got their preference? Yes. A lot of girls don't ever hear that they want a light skinned man. I well, you were born in that. the age. I know. I mean, you were born earlier, but during my time of growing up, lots of girls wanted that light skinned man, that genuine look. You know, they wanted that suave. You know. What was she? Rock was making a point saying that people request no one complains or gripes and say cut calls colorism whenever show after show women say they want a man that's tall, dark, dark skin. Like so, there, there's no cry of colorism then. But, but then that's she, across she, every race, though. Every race says tall, dark, and handsome. Every race. When they ask for a man, they say tall, dark, and handsome. It's right when it suits you. It's wrong when it doesn't suit you is what the point is. I you know, I, I, I always say tall, person. dark, and handsome. It's just, it, it is and, what and it is. It, you're right. They do say it across all races because we've said that. The melanated man is the most desired across all races. They all No, you're not. The white man is. <laughs> I didn't is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your <laughs> common sense. I think, even if it wasn't true, it's just the way that you say it, Tierney. No, you're not. It's you the, know I'm the joking with you. I mean, you say it. Even if what I said weren't true, even if melanated men weren't the most desired, it's the way you say it, sister. You oh. like bullshit. <laughs> For work. That's I can't. Can't help it. I mean. So here we go. I say one in five. Uh, which should be number one, number one and five, and five should be one, and one should be number two, and then we would have, then all the rest of the stuff will fall, will fall underneath that. That can be, uh, that could be an attitude change, but five should be number one, and one should be number two. Okay, really, like you that. think obesity should be the first yes, thing on the list? We, yeah, because we have an obesity problem. We have women. Do we have eighty percent of our women are overweight? We need to get that number down to fifty or forty. If we get that number down to fifty or forty, and I'm not saying they're just old, just totally blown out. I'm <laughs> saying there's a lot of women on on the key on the uh, what is that thumbnail? Those women, if you really look at them, they're not really fit. If you look at the women on the thumbnail, okay, Amen. they got Amen. their thumb, but they're not fit. Okay, so Amen. this is what we're talking about. I'm saying women get fit down to 40 to 30 percent, there'd be a problem on this earth. Believe me, there'd be a problem on this earth. Yes, it's cool. boring though. Don't you want to? Nah, nah, yeah, it's boring. Tyranny from Texas, they like them thick. Bro, yeah. I'm telling you, steak and all. <laughs> yeah, but it could be, we could keep 20% of us as thick, and then the rest of us, 80% of us, the, uh, let's swing it the other uh, way, and then no. let the 80% be shout what the 80% be thin, and then no, let the 20% be thin. <laughs> shout out to Media Man. He was over there cooking up a storm today, and thick, what actually is thick, today's melanated woman would call very fit. Swear to goodness, 
is not no thick. Thick is not an like excess of fat. It's not. It's but that's not. what they pushing in these movies. That's why I said that, that. Oh my god, that video, big booty, fat thighs. You know, that? that's waist. what they pushing. Like that's keep they, searching that's the propaganda. out to to take that propaganda and and shove what? it somewhere. Shove it where? Who cares? Where? Shove it Who cares? Where? 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 People, See, I assume me. The melanated woman needs to stop looking outward so much with all these influences. Look within you, big black powerful sister. You, your big queen, my no goddess. Disrespect. Look within, huh? Huh? You, huh? I mean, I'm five ten. I'm I'm five ten. Okay. So I can swing. I can swing weight wise from one sixty to two ten, and I still and I still look good and wear a size ten. OK, and then I still I'm tall so I can wear it that way. Right. So, I mean, it just depends that that and some people would call me overweight. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Some people would say I'm thick to overweight, but I can carry it, though. See, I carry it all in my Katukish, right? <laughs> <laughs> I carry it all in the Katukish, right? In the good part, so all, all 200 pounds is back there, right? my <laughs> point. You just making my point. So oh, I'm you know, I mean, I I we say, I say we try to aim. No. No, 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 I say, no. No. I say no. we all try to aim for the eighty instead of being eighty obese. I say try to try to aim for the eighty in shape, and then we we'll let the ones who want to be who want to be thick and obese into the twenty percent. But I think we need to start heading that direction. I'm gonna say this. You know, this is here's, here's, here's the thing. For for this big if that's a big old if that's like a ten story tall if if these sisters was to get into shape, do you not realize the age group that needs to get into shape and really make some change so that they don't reach the end of their life in in financial and emotional despair? They gonna have to get addicted to the gym. There ain't there ain't nothing else they could do, and that is the most difficult thing to do. Again, shout out to Media Man. A I lot mean, of folks say y'all don't nothing about the gym, and and I find that wild because I grew up in the gym lifestyle. So I'm like, folks don't know that you need to get up and get into a gym. If you don't use it, you lose, it, especially the older you get. And for women, it's worse than men. That's why we keep stressing men and women are not the same. Whenever yeah. women reach a certain age, y'all metabolism hate you. You can't eat nothing without it just piling on. It ain't it ain't cool, but it is what it is. And y'all don't know nothing about the gym. It's over. I say all that to say that's that if it shall never be, it shall never be be obtained. Because y'all I mean, not going. Really, the earlier they hit the gym, the better. They're not going. Of, they're not going. Of, there's a lot of KFC, Long John Silver's, Wendy's, McDonald's on every corner that we turn. It doesn't matter. It don't it matter. Doesn't matter. So it don't it's all matter. Gone. Mr. Walker, you cannot be what what I at least say, HQ, disingenuous that you sit here saying that the things that are around us, it doesn't matter. Absolutely. No. The things that are within our listen, where I stay, none of that exists. No McDonald's when none of that exists. It is just healthy food, right? But where majority of our people stay, it's nothing but trash dumped in their city. So it, it got more to do with our economics. I would agree. That. So why you guys yeah. can't see that? It's not that we she's do, a black we, black we, woman. What are you talking about? We grew up like oh. that, but you got to, as adults, we got to grow out of that and have some understanding and want to do better. And, and I don't want to hear that because we I remember we were in high school, high school, ignorant as the day is long. And Gavin made up a point while we playing video games talking about stop drinking soda. So that's the thing. Like if there's a will, there's a way. And we were so dang on ignorant and ain't even funny. So I ain't trying to hear that tyranny. So yes, environment is gonna have an effect, but to hell with the excuse. Excuse, I, I can't stand no excuse. And you wanna know why? Shout out to my coaches, cause I believe in you, tyranny, more than I believe in your excuse. Oh. <laughs> right path, but you didn't want that. So you called that controlling. That's a controlling man. He he wanted to control the things that I was doing, and you couldn't have that because you want to do what you want. Well, if you want to do what you want, then you need to be by yourself. And you can't say that you want a leader because leadership comes in many different ways. 
is not just the ways that you want him to lead, but the ways that he feel necessary in order to keep you safe, in order to make sure that his house is in order and amongst other things as well. And a lot of these hyenas, as Crimson Cure would call it, are out of line. You don't want leadership because you want to be the leader. You want to do whatever you want when it suits you. And he's supposed to just sit there and take it. But then when you want him to pop out and show somebody where you need him to be like the leader that the way you see leadership in your mind, that's when you want him to, to do what you want him to do. And it doesn't work like that. And I think women don't understand that. They don't really understand the full concept of what a, a man leading the household looks like. And when they do see it, they call it controlling. So we already done, we've already debunked that idea that these women don't want leadership. You want a man to follow your lead. You want to be outside 24-7 seven whenever you want to be doing whatever it is that you want to do and you want somebody to sit there and just accept you because you have a vagina it doesn't work like that that's not what good leadership would look like so that's definitely a problem and that, and that definitely plays to why a lot of our women are at least married number three says too masculine while lacking femininity we know that's the truth all day tattoos everywhere aggressiveness just masculine trying to be like a man some of these women even posture themselves like a man they even sit with their legs open they leaning over and talking like a dude i mean and they've taken this on because they have jobs or they have a business they, they, they they're saying that oh because they have to work that it's making them masculine and i just don't believe that i just think i don't believe that i think that's just a part of who you are because of the way you were raised majority of us were not raised to be feminine submissive women and wives we were taught to be independent boss chicks to take care of yourself and because you you're taking care of yourself you take on that masculine role you don't know how to be feminine it's something that you were raised and taught how to be so it's ingrained in you number four says she became a baby mama first oh my god we have a single mother epidemic so we know that's the truth and most men don't want to date or marry single mothers number five disproportionately obese we got we that's a rampant problem obesity is a big huge problem in this country so yeah we got a lot of women who are overweight and they think they fine and they think they you know thick and fluffy and they think men want that too when men are saying we want more fit women we want women to have our kids and if you are already 300 pounds then you know when you have a child oh my god it's gonna be a struggle for you to get back to a decent weight so a healthy no it ain't dd men like them thick so yeah if you ask some women they don't see they saying this whole list is cap you know black women mother see moss gold of course it's cap because it's that list is damning it is they refuse to even believe any of it is true and or at the very least, they'll go down that list and give you a valid excuse for every last one of them. And ain't none of them going to be their fault. They're going to look at each one of those things on that list and search outward and see who made them behave that way. So what's your take, Rockwell? Um, Heath the Queen hit on it. Do I give Heath the Queen her flower? She came up here and she hit on this number five, the obesity you know, you ain't say nothing about number four, though, Heathen Queen. You don't see a problem with becoming a baby mama first. No, it's not a matter of, I mean, it's not a matter of that. You ask what the issue with women are, what the issue is with a the black women of today. And I told you the first two issues is that she's overweight and she's a hyena. Those are the, those are the bulk. That's the bulk of the problem. All of the other things are, are small compared to that. Right. Uh, and then you may put the baby mama in the third category. But that being overweight and that being a hyena is the first two that need to be corrected. And then everything else, we can we can work with everything else, but we can't work with you being a hyena and we can't work with you being a fat. So <laughs> I mean, I would say, I mean I would say a man can't a man's not going to bend on any of these being uncooperative, masculine, you know. No, man. no. But but am I right? You, 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 am I right on the first two? It's got to be them first two because them first two is the most important one. Yeah, if, you, yeah. if you can't come, if you come in the door fat and a hyena, I ain't even gonna look at you. <laughs> you see, you understand? Yeah, but I'm being saying? a hyena is a broad term. That's why they broke it down like this because mm -hmm. y'all women will walk around here. What is a hyena? I don't know what that is. Well, well, no, a that's why them fall under hyena. So, yeah, like uncooperative, okay. too masculine, all this stuff will make you yeah. a hyena. Exactly. Right. So I'm saying those are the first two things you need to address that hyena attitude and that being overweight. And then we can deal with the rest of the things on the list. Hmm. I mean, that's the way I see it. I don't know. Do you all see it some other way? Is there something else that comes first before those two? Well, that's the thing. I, I'm not going down the route 
of trying to see what needs to be solved first I think at, I believe at this point all we can do is observe and take note. But sit here and say, okay, uh, women that this applies to, start tackling this list and you're gonna be all right. That's a that's a waste of time. No, no, is no, no, no. Losing weight and checking your attitude. We ain't losing weight. They ain't checking their attitude. That yeah, but, we, but we're talking about we're talking about what needs to be changed. I'm saying you change the weight. You change the attitude, everything else will fall in line underneath that. Period. Because if you these are two, all these terms are brought, all of these things. Not, these, these, right, these let me say, let me say this, H. It's not true because if you already, if you three hundred pounds with three kids by three men, then you can't change that. If you Wait, was already three hundred four, hold on. If you was already for the streets, and all these men know you for the streets, you can't change. But some you of don't, But y'all calling people who have babies three hundred four. So let's skip mm -hmm. all that. We're not three talking about, women, we're talking about women who like uh, Carly Red are three or four. We we need to skip no. all that. Don't make them three or fours. We talking about we talking about basic fundamentals: the hyena attitude and the overweight. Listen, y'all want to tackle all of that stuff. We can't. I just the everything. particular woman. I said three hundred pounds, three kids by three men. That's the woman that I just said. And you got to understand, there's some there's some big women out there ain't even had no kids. So we we can't we can't put the kids oh, in the didn't. category. We got to put the fatness in the category. That's the first tackle because there's some fat women out there who don't have kids. Am I wrong or right? That's true. But all right. You know. So we worry about the fatness. We don't worry about the kids. We worry about the fatness first. Okay. Then we worry about the attitude. I, and it comes to a grand and halt there because, like I said, the majority, the mass majority of women that needs to lose weight at their age, mid late thirties, pushing forty. The only way to really do it is to get into a gym. And it's th the whole fantasy stops there because they ain't going to the gym and putting in the work. So we're going to stop. Yeah, but we can't. But but you you brought what? this up. But we got this up here for a reason. We got mm -hmm. this up here for a reason. Are we up here? Are we? Do we have it up here for a reason just to point out how, how they're at it, how they are? Or are we putting it up here so we can let them learn from something? This is the, understand the, what the issue is. The young ladies, the young ladies that have yet to fall victim to all of this madness, they shall observe and take note and not fall victim to it. But the ones that this already applied to, good luck, Godspeed. But I ain't hold my breath. Yeah, because you being, here we go. I'm going to let this video keep going. We'll get Tyranny back up here in a minute. But what you're doing, HQ, is you being real broad with your terms. You're just sitting here saying, lose weight, lose weight. No, losing weight means these women have to exercise and diet. Quit, quit just saying lose weight because they don't know what that means. Get real granular so you can hold people accountable. But we can't, but we can't get granular. We gotta be, we gotta be specific. Yes, you can. Losing you can't just weight. say lose weight. You can't but they, but weight. some of them don't. Some people don't even know they need to do all of these things. That's what they tell them to stop eating. Thick. Stop they, eating and go to the gym. But they there think they're thick and they think that's that's what they're supposed to be. <laughs> lose <laughs> weight. Learn the learn the weight chart. Learn the weight chart. Learn the weight chart. They ain't gonna do. I, I give them some real advice they can start using immediately. Something that I use when I start getting in my my fat cravings. Read the nutritional facts on back of stuff. I will grab sweets and stuff. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna have this. I blame it on the kids, right. and then I will sit there and I will read the nutri. I will read the ingredients and I will put it back 100 percent of the time because ignorance is bliss. Is my point. So that's the that's where they can start here. The Queen all is learn the chart. That's goofy. They gonna go shopping. Read, ladies and gentlemen, read what you eat and, and educate yourself so you can stop being ignorant to the poison you're putting in yourself. That part. So and learn how to cook. Wait, they don't want you to be unhealthy, they want you to be healthy. So there are a lot of women who are overweight and they don't really want to do anything about it because they're fine the way they are. They don't want to make any changes. So you should be able to accept them as they are. But they want you to be fit and six feet and six figures and all of these things, but they're not willing to do what's necessary to get themselves to a point where you would be interested in them. 
No changes on their part, but all of the changes on your part. We say that all day, every day. Number six, overall poor ethnic image. We look at women dressing provocatively, looking like 304s out here on, in the streets, wearing their bodies all out, don't have any real decency or respect for themselves. They just put themselves out here and they think that this is cute and that men and everybody's supposed to look at them in the highest regard and respect them. You have to earn respect. It's not just given. You can't walk out here looking like trash and think people are supposed to look at you as something special. And, and something important. But a lot of these women have conformed to this whole video vixen look. These rappers wear nothing but body suits and all your body hanging out and they, and they don't see anything wrong with that. You don't see anything wrong with the way you look. You think that that's okay and everybody's supposed to respect you and, and treat you other than what you present yourself as. It's crazy to me. You want to walk around and look like a 304, but you want them to treat you like a decent, respectable young lady. And that's just hard to do because you got to respect yourself for others to want to respect you. You can't just think that people, somebody disrespect you because of the way you look, what they treat you like what you look like. You got to understand that your image is important and it's important for you and others as well because the way you present yourself is how people perceive you. And if you don't want to be perceived as something that you're not, stop dressing the part. Number seven, too many embrace 304 culture. That goes into what number six is. I mean, they're just walking around thinking that that's cool to have all your, your butt cheeks out and your boobs out and tattoos all over your face, all over your arms, legs, chest, everywhere. Men are looking for women to be mothers to their children and be wives. They don't want somebody looking like, you know, you just for the streets. Your image is everything. So if you care about who you are, who you represent, how you are portrayed out in these streets, you definitely have to worry about how you present yourself and what you look like. You can't just go out here thinking that it's okay to look like this and everybody's supposed to just be your knight in shining armor and men. And, and then, you know, these women out here worry about men not approaching them because these men see right through y'all now. Number eight, can't take constructive criticism. I said that before. You can't tell them nothing. You can't, especially you can't tell a black woman nothing. Anything you tell her is bashing. How are you going to learn and do better if you don't want to hear what people have to say? It's not saying you have to listen to every single thing that anybody says, but you can take the things that make sense and apply them to your life and make some changes and do better. But if you... Man. Hell. And I'll ask you, Tyranny. Which, how do you feel about constructive criticism? You know, is a, are people like no. you and me, could, could we do what we want to do and nobody should be able to say anything to us? No, I, I don't believe in that. I believe in growth. And um, I don't believe that you, you know, shouldn't take any advice. Now, I don't believe that you feel like you give me advice and I have to take it. You so know, let me I'm ask you this. What, what's a nice way to tell somebody they need to, they too big? Um... I don't know, because I've, I've never found the confidence to tell someone that because I feel like that's not my business. That's wild. That's not my business. That's not why my business. You, why you, why you, you, one second. But why, why, why is it your business? Why ain't it That's business? not my body. Wait one second. Was it somebody that you cared for or loved that was big? That's not my business. But that's no, that, God dang it. Did you care for them? Were you a friend, an ally, a compadre? Did they see? Did it? They think fondly of you in any way, shape, or form. God because it. because here's the thing, Irony. Being big, you thinking of everything <laughs> from a superficial point of view. I'm everything not superficial is, at all. Well, you know what I'm saying is somebody calling somebody big is not shaming or superficial. It's a matter of life and death. That's and that's my point. If you like them, <laughs> if you on, love them as a friend, it ain't got to do with it. Is your business? Uh -huh. That's that's somebody uh -huh. you care for. You supposed to. Only iron, thing I can do is iron sharpens iron, and and in, or, in order for that to happen, we got to be disagreeable with one another. We got to call out each other's flaws and do constructive criticism. And so I you mean, can't sit there and go to your girlfriend or your auntie and be like, "Hey, auntie, put down that fried fish sandwich. You're too big." No, that's not my business. And some words turn into judge. That's cowardice. That's I don't cowardice. know. I'm not. No, I don't judge people. That's not my position. Hold on. Let me I finish. Call it that's not it. Is she should be drinking Kool-Aid. That's not my business. Go ahead, finish, Jenny. Larry, you're playing. Thank you. Okay, what she do with her body is her choice. Ain't that what y'all say? Especially you non-Christians, your body, your choice. Okay, that's her body, your choice. Now, what I can say is I don't eat at McDonald's, which I do. I don't eat at McDonald's. I, I know there's some really good food over here at Central Market. I could suggest things to her without saying something that could possibly hurt her, right? I don't know why that woman's overweight. I don't know what her childhood was. Her. I, mean, I like I that. You don't want to hurt her. That's a beautiful thing. I like that. But do you think that a, a loved one or a friend being overweight is hurting them more than you 
getting giving them constructive criticism that may not feel good i mean i just haven't just just like i don't really agree with gay people and i don't have the courage to say you're not going to make it in the end i don't have the courage to tell big people that you're fat and you might die before i do i mean that's, there you go I and that's why i said cowardice that's why i said so you that's I not a coward. you said you don't have the courage you i'm not let me just, how, about this? how about this mr walker how about this people just, say things hold on People say things all the time by my eyes, right? Oh my God, her eyes are dark. Even though they're hereditary, hereditary because of my tribe, okay? But you think y'all telling me about my eyes? Is gonna change it. Hold on, hold on. Is it going to change it? Is it going to change it? Anything? I don't think so. I don't think saying anything about my eyes is going to change anything. <laughs> I don't think me saying something to a bigger woman is going to change her either. It's not my business. That's just how I feel. All right, here we go. Let me finish this <laughs> list. I finish this list. We ain't about to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> you, you know, know I'm, I'm, I'm just trying, <laughs> you know. Right. You don't want to make any changes. You don't want to hear any anything outside of what you've been entrenched in. Well, you're going to just stay there, and that's going to yield you single lonely bitter depressed and confused number nine says allegiance to the sisterhood child we know that's a hot mess and number 10 says lack of respect for black men all day every day lack of respect for black men is a big one allegiance to this sisterhood that gets you nowhere is is a horrible hot mess it is not beneficial whatsoever because the sisterhood is fake a lot of these women are in competition with each other. They don't really like each other. They bash each other every chance they get and then smile in each other's face and act like they sisters and they cool. I'm not with the sisterhood because I know it's a bunch of BS. And the lack of respect these women have for black men is evident. They think these men are beneath them and they don't want to have anything to do with them, but they don't want to have anything to do with them when it, if, they're, if they're not financially stable to the point of where they want them to be. But when you're looking for somebody to protect you on the streets, you don't care which man show up. You'll take them then. You'll accept them then to run to your rescue. And it's a sad shame because it's like they're you, you use them. They're only good for when you need them. And then when you're done, when they're done helping you, oh, you toss them back to the street because they dust this again. Baby, once again, y'all got to do something different. You got to really get yourself together if you want a different outcome. If you don't keep doing that because... Ain't no man going to take you seriously or want to be with you for real. And if that's what you want, you definitely going to have to make some changes. So Here we go. Shout out to Didi. Like I said, her the link to her channel is in the description. She over there cooking up every day. We appreciate you, sister. But this is the thing, right? Well, you know, I hear a lot of these women, you know, talk about, oh, a man's not going to want you. Y'all understand, not every woman is living for a man. I mean, come on. I mean, women are doing them in 2024. See, in my age group and my friends, we don't talk like that. So the things that she's saying to me is pretty foreign because I don't hear any women I'm surrounded around talk about I don't want a man or, you know, um, I dump him and leave him. I don't hear You've that. You've never heard that. You've never I, heard that. You know? I, I promise you, I never heard that. Now, I like I said, my mom, my mom makes over 100 k she is not concerned with having a man right now. And if he does come at her, he absolutely have to come at her correct because she's fit, feminine, and friendly, you know? But I just don't hear that. So I don't sit back and judge women. I'm sorry. I just don't. I know we have problems. I know we got our issues. But every woman, you know, do, do you. Do and you. that's the problem. Y'all want everybody to put their head in the sand and act like we don't see what's going on. No, the we see. We yeah, see. Well, can we change these something. people? You have to say something, Tony, or the problem just going to get worse. That's but why we're really here. gonna change, Mr. Gap. You really That's, think yes, it something. will. It's it's called mm -hmm. it's called spreading awareness. It will change. Awareness is spread. spread. Like you said, flip over and read, right? It's there. The, well, it's, right the, now, it's... right now, what we're doing is the entire house is on fire, and all we got is a little fire extinguisher. And you saying put it down, y'all ain't gonna never put the fire out. We said we trying and we might put it out. Probably <laughs> not, but it's still okay. it's still stuff still in this can, and we still spraying. Since the beginning of time, women has have attitude and men have been lazy. I mean, since the beginning of time, men have put the blame on women and women have went out there and did what they want. Since the beginning of time, so since the beginning of time, crazy, and that's, and that's how we wind up in such a first in the modern world because men ain't did nothing. <laughs> what you mean nothing? I'm I'm just saying you guys have had your flaws since the beginning, and so have we. But you guys, I would never go walk to a big woman and say. You're big, and I mean, girl, you need to lose. Girl, you need to lose some weight. Girl, that's, that's a heavy. You know what? Oh we my don't, gosh, girl, you should. Don't nobody do that. Okay, and that's the thing. <laughs> you ain't gotta say, say it like that. Yeah, in ahead, public right. health, in public health, right? Like you, you gotta care about the world's health and children when they go to the doctor. There's a scale that they get. 
every year it tells them or tells the parent, these are the shots your kid needs. This is where your kid falls on the chart height wise. And they're, they're where they're supposed to be uh, at their weight or they're a little under. You need to feed them some more potatoes. That that's a kid, not a grown woman or a grown man. That's a kid, not an adult. Okay, so do you go to a doctor as okay, an adult? That's my choice. Okay. Right? That's right. my choice. And so your doctor has the choice to tell you whether you are obese or not. No, that's the and doctor's, doctor's job. May I finish speaking? You can absolutely me? finish. I didn't tell you to stop. I'll I didn't put a period at the end of the sentence. I'm never going to shut up. So since you're done talking, you guys can continue with what you were talking. Because like I said, you're not going to tell me when to talk and how to talk and when I cannot talk. Like I said, you can't tell no grown ass man or no grown ass woman what to do and how to do it. So you walk up to somebody, Raquel, and tell a black woman she fed, she's going to put your ass in the face. That's oh, correct. Yeah. That's now you can talk. Like I said, I work in the public. I work in the public health field. I work in the public health field. I'm the person that writes what a doctor should say to someone like you. That's a doctor. Who doesn't want to hear that they're obese? No, I'm not right? obese. And but so like I said, if do, I was, what we do maybe is we go I'm back not obese at office. all. But if it's I was judgy, obese, you couldn't tell me nothing. But you what we do is we if go I back was to obese. the office. Okay. And we say, how do we reach a tyranny? And I just what have could a, we you, do to me. help tyranny not get diabetes? Tyranny again, tyranny don't need nothing. Tyranny don't need no no help. Then what we do is tyranny we say no we're going to change our messages so that Thank we you. can effectively change tyranny's eating no, habits. No, Raquel needs to change and go go get your stuff together. <laughs> this is go be around example. black women because I'm just you using clearly you don't as like an them. Example. You clearly don't like black women. That's why you're so How quick can to I judge not them. Like black that's women. why you're so quick to judge them because ain't no woman that's really out there that her woman. people sitting there going. Why do you every about. time you this get whole, into the situation that you don't this whole like? This show was about you black women. You have to bring up race in a way that is the list was about black women, like, was it not? Perpetual victim. Was the, you're what's not. the list not about you black women, Rockwell? What's the list about problem. black women? What's the list about black you women? You are your biggest problem. I don't have any problems, baby girl. I you got do. money and my kids are happy. What we talking about? And my man is good to me. What this we talking is what about? You say none of what we can see. I, we just you're not gonna see my man because attitude. I know I know pick me's want to screw people's man, but you're never gonna see mine because you ain't gonna never have a, a taste of my meat, baby. Tyranny, so me and you don't have the same man. taste. Keep asking to see my man. You're never going to. Would never be I don't on want the to same be around level like, you, like, well. like I said, y'all no. go to a grown ass woman and tell her she's overweight. You are gonna get what you ask for. Let people do them. That's their business. But if you it's make my sure grandmother you're who has diabetes, I might tell her, Grandma, these yams are too sweet for you. That's not telling her that you she's fat. Be making these yams so sweet, Nana. You should. That's shouldn't. not telling her that she's fat, rock. Yes, it That's is. Different. In a loving way. In a loving way. Wow. By me telling her her yams are too sweet, she needs to cut back on that because her sugar is bad. She Did y'all say not that's do not that. what y'all said? Don't be disingenuous. Okay. No, it's right. unfortunate. No, okay. Right you said tell a woman that she's obese. That's what y'all said. You didn't say tell her in a loving way. Hey, man. And I did say that. I said, I'll suggest. It's up to a woman to be a nurturer, panel to nurture women. They're just here to say what needs to be said. The guys aren't going to nurture. As a woman listening to what the guys are saying, I have to say, okay, Mr. Gavin has a point. Mr. Walker has a point. How can I show up for women or my grandmother or whoever? How can I suggest that maybe the yams are too sweet. Could I use that as an example? Or if my dad has high cholesterol, which a lot of black men do, you know, when can I say, dad, you need to put them pork rinds down. I shouldn't see you with a bag of pork rinds, daddy, when you're on cholesterol medicine. That as a woman, I have to ease, I have to caress and massage and inspire the reaction I want out of the men in my life. So if, you know, here, dad, why don't you have this beef jerky instead of this pork rind? Or, you know, I don't know, but it's like, are y'all, 
how do you get what you want from someone if it's always nasty? Like, like how are you successful if everything is, I ain't going to do it and you're going to say, and if you approach me and if you got this, girl, let me tell you, I don't even see you in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're just, if we just want to be honest, like the one problem I had a problem with, with the little list, I think that Crimson Cure or Miss D put out was number six. I, I know a lot of black women that are proud to be black women. We don't associate ourselves with sexy bread. So when you say that, you know, we look at our culture as like degenerate or, you know, we are like, no, absolutely not. You know, we are AKAs or Deltas or, uh, you know, whatever. We are up here. We would never, not that we're, we don't think that we're, uh, we're better than any other people, but there's just a, a level of decorum that we will not lower ourselves. You know, it, we're going to keep ourselves to a higher standard. So that was my one problem with the list. You know, I, I, I get what y'all are saying, but I don't think that the way y'all do it with each other applies to us as women. And it's up to us as women to massage the facts to get what we want, the better outcome. There you go. Just and that's, keeping it's grandma about, alive, big mama's house or whatever. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants to see their grandma dead. <laughs> and I and I just think I just think the most important, you, you have to take the most important ones, which is the weight and the, the attitude and the rest will follow underneath that that attitude and that weight i i mean i'm not addressing all 10 because i you know i i don't remember all 10 but i just feel like no the weight and the attitude is the most important things that we need to address immediately and as those are things that we could do every day we could do that every day starting tomorrow right mm. what you got tyranny what you guess Two seconds Stop hating on me. I'm going to speak it how it is, but I love my people at the end of the day. Y'all can hate on me. Okay. Bye, HQ. I love you. Bye, guys. I'm going to go get to the kids. Thank y'all for having me up. We love Appreciate you, too. Y'all later. Fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter.